Yeah. When I'm on the scene, all the hoes gon' drop. Yeah. Phone gon' ring. What? Coins gon' stop. Okay. Clubbing all night. Uh -huh. Bottles gon' pop. Hold Step up in the spot. Yeah. Bye bye. Especial dedicación a mi santa muerte Por protegerme y proteger a toda mi gente Por ser justa entre las justas Por dejarme seguir vivo Por darme la fuerza para castigar al enemigo Por la bendición a mi fierro pulso certero Y por poner a mi lado una jauría de pieles perros Este mensaje es para todos los devotos de la Santa Muerte. Y si no eres devoto, pero te llama muchísimo la atención la Santísima, déjame te explico por qué. Por qué es tan maravillosa. Jesucristo, nuestro Rey Padre Celestial, fue un hombre casado. Él estuvo casado con nuestra diosa, María Magdalena. De su gran fruto, de su gran amor, tuvieron una hija. Ella, que es la muerte, la Santísima. Nombre, Sara de la Cali. Nació en Francia, pero la escondieron en Egipto. Y por eso es tan maravillosa. Su culto de ella no muere, ni aquí, ni en China, ni en ningún lado. La muerte es la muerte. Al que le duela, y al que lo quiera entender, qué bueno. Y al que no, pues ni modo, pero de que existe, existe. La Santísima es hija de Jesucristo y María Magdalena. En boca de varias culeras, al chile ninguna me espanta. De mi andan hablando tantas. How to become a Santa Muerte devotee three ways. 1. Praying to her. Prayers may be recited to make request of Santa Muerte, to give thanks to her, or simply to say hello. 2. Build an altar for her. You only need a depiction of the Santa Muerte like a statue, image, or even a depiction of death like a skull. If you can't have a permanent or temporary altar, you can create one in your mind. Also known as an astral altar. 3. Making of offerings. Example of some offerings are flowers, cigarettes, coins and money, water, alcohol, etc. Your devotion to Santa Muerte begins the first day you say a prayer to her, build an altar to her, or make an offering to her. Every prayer, altar, or offering that comes to follow is a reinforcement of your devotion in order to strengthen your relationship with her. The Santa Muerte accepts us all. Caroline, 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 you are in terrible danger. Para que la Santa Muerte te Pregunta, escuche primero, pídele permiso a Dios no, nuestro pero Señor. No sé Amén. Hablar con mi flaquita. ¿Alguien me puede ayudar? Claro, bebé. Quisiera ser devoto, pero no sabes cómo hablar con la Santa Muerte. Cuando tú quieras hablar con la Santa Muerte, primero pídele permiso a Dios nuestro Señor Todopoderoso que te permita hablar con este ángel tan maravilloso de nuestra Santísima Muerte. Y tú le vas a hablar lo que te salga del corazón. Nadie te va a decir cómo hablarle más que tú, bebé. Todo lo que te salga del corazón lo vas a platicar con la Santa Muerte porque va a ser tu mejor amigo. Bendiciones. Miren quién llegó, ya está aquí la guerra dora. Some offerings I give to my Santa Muerte can be all the time. Al gringo racista. O al esclavo, con martillo y clavo, Santa Muerte los endereza. I just want to give y'all my personal experience and my personal journey working with La Niña Negra. So, you know, the, you know, black version of La Santísima Muerte. And I feel like when a lot of people think of La Niña Negra, they think of a very, like, 
dark and powerful and stern and very like sometimes people even see her as a very evil energy and with my personal experience i feel like she's an energy that makes you learn and who will put lessons in your life for your soul to grow i feel like working with her like she is stern and she is very powerful and her energy is very heavy and it's very powerful but it gives you it gives you the sense of such protection and it gives you the sense of such like like groundness like it's like i know she's got my back and if i'm going through something in my life it's like knowing that she's by my side it's like i know i'm gonna persevere and i know i'm gonna get through it it's like she's like she's like my rock you know what i mean like working with her is like although she can be strict and although she can be stern it's like it's just such a protected mama bear feeling it's like if if someone were to do brujeria on me or if someone were to be talking shit about me or if someone were to be sending me any type of negative energy all i really need to do or all i feel like i need to do is pray to la nina negra and she's got it handled i feel like just by praying to her and asking for her assistance i already feel so much lighter i feel cleansed i just she gives such this protective and beautiful motherly energy and it's like if you if you see her as like this you know scary and evil and dark and when i mean by dark i mean like very like you know just like evil and just like not approachable entity then that's what you're going to manifest that's what you're going to attract but if you see her as a protective and strong mother you know if you see her as a mother who wants the best for you and a mother who will give you tough love when you need it then that's that's the energy i feel with her she's a mother who gives you tough love and who will put you through situations and through lessons that you need to grow and that your soul really needs to grow to find yourself and to learn like i feel like um when i really connect to her i notice i go through more trials in my life but once i'm out of those trials i grow so much like i grow emotionally like i grow like spiritually like i just i feel <sighs> I feel better i feel grown i feel like i've gained knowledge and i feel like it's because of her and i feel like it's her guidance and i feel like it's her wisdom and that's my personal experience with her and i love her very much obviously feel very protected with her Some things to remember if you want to work with Santa Muerte. She is not to be played with. Treat her with respect. Don't promise anything you cannot keep. Do not abandon her. If you cannot do these things, she is not for you. Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about the different colors and meanings on Santa Muerte. So this beautiful red one is for love and family. This beautiful black one is for protection against black magic. This yellow one, I count it as like gold because of the kind of like sheen that it has a little bit. Uh, this one can be good for uh, prosperity and abundance. So is this one that is covered in money. And the multicolor one can also be used for everything. Just remember these are some of the properties that you can use each one of them for. Giving Santa Muerte a bath. So, girl, keep me still lol. <laughs> Hurry up with my bath queen. Sweetie, please. 